This part of the program is what I call lost in translation. Basically, uh, what it is, is when uh, our parents or some Iranians who've uh, so far refused to learn English because they think they're going back to Iran for the next no rules. <laughs> How stupid is that? Come on. <laughs> You know we're not going back to Iran. Oh, come on. You, we're getting welfare here, Medicare, <laughs> Medicare. They're coming from Iran to get it from here. And you think we're going to go back to Iran? Are you kidding me or what? <laughs> so anyway, I had this American girlfriend, Carol. Well, back then, I used to call her Carol. So uh, my accent was really, really three. Basically, accent, uh, <laughs> uh, anyway. So I invite Carol to our house and uh, my mom had made all kinds of Persian food and uh, my mom, mother man, she, she never want, my mom is a very hospitable uh, woman and uh, she always wants to make sure that the guest always has the best of everything. So she goes uh, to Carol uh, with her broken English, she's going like, uh, Carol dear, uh, uh, welcome to our house. Uh, you are uh, 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 your step on the b balls of uh, our eyes. You are uh, friend of God. Mehmoon Habib Khodas. What do you mean? You damned the tea? <laughs> uh, yes, yes. When, uh, when uh, you damn the tea, it tastes better. <laughs> no, it's kind of sacrilegious. I mean, uh, I mean, you treat the tea as if it's some bad person. <laughs> no, 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 dear. You are not a bad person. We actually like you. <laughs> we actually like you. You are a very nice person because you are the only one who who uh, who uh, said yes to my son and uh, become girlfriend uh, to him <laughs> here is where it gets a little touchy some Persians will go oh my god no I cannot believe he said that but everything that comes out of my mouth, everything that I say is based on what exists around us because it's observational comedy. So don't be telling me like John Amazon Nakashin, don't be acting like a hypocrite, okay? There is this Iranian sweet, like a cookie or a pastry. It's actually very thin layered and I've only seen that in Kermanshah and Shiraz. Uh, do you want some uh, sugar? Uh, with what? Uh, oh, with your tea. Oh, the tea that you damned? Uh, yes, yes, yes. I damned the tea for you. So, would you like uh, sugar? Uh, I don't know. It depends. Depends? Uh, depends on what? Uh, well, did you damn the sugar as well? <laughs> no, no, thank you. I don't, I don't like sugar. Uh, I don't like sugar or uh, sweet and low or anything like that in my tea. Oh, okay. Mother man, how did you get Oh, oh. Then, then, uh, then, uh, then, uh, then, uh, then you. I have to uh, give you uh, something. I am very, very, very sure you uh, will like. Carolyn, she was sort of interested now and intrigued. He goes like, really? And what might that be? Would you like to have some cock? <laughs> <laughs> you should have been there. Carol's face, was, the eyes were popping out. She goes, excuse me? Yes, yes. Uh, would you would you like uh, to have cock? I'm sorry, I must have misunderstood you. Did you just ask me if I want what? Cock? 
Koch, dear. Do you want some Koch? I... I don't know what to say, Mr. Shams. What do you mean? Oh, well, we have this Koch. Uh, it is... Uh, it is... Uh, once you put a little in your mouth, you want to put the whole thing in your mouth and eat it. <laughs> I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. Huh? But my mom is innocent. She had no idea. She didn't come here and the very first thing, just like most of the foreigners who come here, she didn't learn the bad words or the curse words or the genitals, the name of the genitals of the human body or whatever. So she was innocently offering some cock to my girlfriend, <laughs> Iranian cock from Shiraz. She was like, Mrs. Shams, do you know what a cock is? My mom said, yes, yes. I try to have one uh, every day uh, with tea. Well, why would you have to drink tea when, you're, when you have a cock? Because. Because I love it so much, I even try to make homemade cock. I'm sorry. This is, oh, I don't know what to say. This is really confusing. You make cock? And not as good. I like the cock you buy from the store. It's, uh, it's not loose or like, uh, like a uh, like a khamir. What's a khamir? Uh, you know how you make bread before you cook it? It's soft. <laughs> and what does the other cock look like? Oh, very hard, very hard. You want to bite it. And you don't want to chew it like gum. I thank you very much. I mean, the story is much longer, but I think I offered enough cock to everybody tonight. <laughs> enough talking about cock.